Good evening. I want to start off by talking to Mike Brown's family. And I want you to know my heart goes out to you. And I say that I'm sorry. I wear this uniform. And I should stand up here and say that I'm sorry. This is my neighborhood. You are my family. You are my friends. And I am you. And I'm telling you right now, I'm full right now. I came in here today and I saw people cheering and people clapping. And this is what the media needs to put on TV. The last 24 hours have been tough for me. I did an interview last night, and, and the reporter said, something's wrong, your tone has changed. He said, are you tired? Or is something bothering you? And I said, my heart is heavy. Because last night I met... Uh, some members of Michael Brown's family. One of the gentlemen is sitting here. There was a young lady and another young gentleman. And they brought tears to my eyes. They brought tears to my eyes. And shame to my heart. But I can tell you, and I've said it before, my daughter wrote me a thing in a text and it talked about Peter and Jesus. And she said, Dad, I know you're going to get scared. And I said, yes, I am. Not scared for me, but scared for us. And she said, Daddy, when Peter failed, Jesus picked him back up. And I needed today, I needed today to get back in the water. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be here as long as it takes. My words will be honest. If we talk about it behind closed doors, I'm going to tell you. So if you don't want me to know, don't tell me behind closed doors. Because when this is over, I'm going to go in my son's room. My black son. Who wears his pants sagging. Wears his hat cocked to the side got tattoos on his arms, but that's my baby. And we all ought to be thanking the Browns for Michael, because Michael's going to make it better for our sons, so they can be better black men, they, so they can be better for our daughters, so they can be better black women, better for me so I can be a better black father, and we know they're going to make our mamas even better than they are today. Let's continue to show this nation who we are, continue to show this country who we are. But when these days are over, these days are over, and Mike Brown's family is still weeping, and they're still on their knees praying, no matter what positive comes in our lives, we still need to get on our knees. And we need to pray. We need to thank Mike for his life. We need to thank him for the change that he is going to make and to make us better. I love you. I stand tall with you. And I'll see you out there. Thank you.